What is up guys, Nintech Minecraft here today. I'm gonna be doing a review on my 13 inch MacBook Pro with Retina Display early 2015 model. Now I've owned this laptop for about a month and I said that in the unboxing video, which by the way guys, I will leave down in the description below. I'll be uploading a review on it within a few weeks. But however, during January, I did not have time to make it because it was, it was summer break here in Australia, which um, I already told you guys that in the Minecraft video. Anyways, in the video, I will be going through a few things such as design, hardware, software, performance, and a few Minecraft tests on this. Anyway guys, let's get into this video. Okay guys, so the first one we're going to be going through here is the design. The MacBook has a very sleek aluminium design which looks absolutely beautiful across the entire laptop. Even the aluminium look on the MagSafe 2 charger matches the design of the MacBook Pro. Just like the unboxing video, I'll be going through the ports. On the left side of the computer you have a MagSafe 2 port for fast charging, two Thunderbolt 2 ports, a USB 3.0 port which is great for connecting flash drives and external hard drives. You also have a headphone jack which is great for connecting any type of headphone, including gaming headsets. You also have two dual microphones, which don't sound too bad. On this side of the computer we have nothing but the black plastic hinge, and up top on the computer you get a bright white Apple logo which lights up when you open up the computer. On this other side of the computer you have the thumbnail which helps you open up the computer. As you can see, the hinge is perfectly weighted. Okay, so we will now be looking at the keyboard and trackpad. But first, we will look at the keyboard. The MacBook has a black chiclet style keyboard that has scissor mechanism keys. In fact, due to its scissor mechanism, the keys could wobble. Here is a sound test of the keyboard. Now to the trackpad. The trackpad is the force touch trackpad, but however, it still has some OS 10's both really multi touch features such as scrolling, going to the launch pad, and swipe through bridge control, but however this has a new feature called force click which brings many enhancements to the OS such as looking up words, events, quick preview for photos and videos, looking up folders and even renaming folders. Here's the sound of the force touch trap hand action. I think the keyboard and trap hand are absolutely great. Now to hardware performance, but first, before we get to performance, we'll get to the hardware. The specs are a 2.7 GHz Intel Dual Core i5 Broadwell processor, 8 GB of RAM, 256 GB of PCI-based flash storage, and Intel RS Graphics 6100. To the performance now, when I went on to Geekbench, I saw a single core score of 2,976, while the multi-core score is 6,222. To fully test the performance, I will be doing some tests, starting off with a boot test. As you can see, the MacBook Pro boots really fast, and I got an impressive score of 7 seconds, which is very impressive. When loading the Google Chrome web browser, it came up instantly, which is very impressive. However, when launching an editing program such as iMovie, it does take a bit longer then launch your web browser. It took about 4 seconds for me which is still pretty good. To export times now, the clip showing here is just a sample 1 minute clip of me going to latitude and having some fun. Anyways, the settings I'm exporting is at 1080p at 30fps in the Apple Pro Res. The export time is pretty quick, it was at a very impressive 37 seconds. Battery life is okay. However, Apple claims it to be 10 hours while web browsing and 12 hours while doing iTunes movie playback. Realistically, I would say it's more around 5 to 6 hours while web browsing, around 3 hours while editing and playing games. Now to the webcam, which is a 720p FaceTime HD camera. It is not too bad in quality. It's good for some social network selfies, however, I would not recommend using it as your main camera for taking photos of scenery or whatever. Also, you can hear the internal microphone from here, which isn't too bad, as I said in the ports section of the video. 
Okay, so we are now doing a few Minecraft tests on this. For this test, I'm going to be seeing the graphics to fancy, clouds to fancy, the render distance to chunks, and the V-Sync off. First test, we are doing this in the survival mode in single player, and as you can see, we are getting around 56 frames per second while not screen recording. And here we get around 27 frames per second while screen recording with QuickTime Player. We're now going to be testing a few online games. In Sky Wars, in Minecraft Sky Wars and Hypixel, we get around 92 frames per second while not screen recording. While recording, we get around 39 frames per second, which is very impressive. Okay, so we're now testing our bomb mobbers. We're not screen recording, we get about 57 frames per second. While screen recording, we get around 32 frames per second. Okay, so now for the verdict of its laptop. The computer does have its pros and cons, so I'm going to read them out for you guys. The pros are very fast SSD, great performance, runs Minecraft okay, the render display and the USB 3 ports, the Thunderbolt 2 ports, and the SDX card reader. The cons are the battery life, which is not as good as what I expected, the price, which um, I've got the middle configuration, so it costed me about 2,300 Australian dollars. The battery cannot be replaced, and the RAM isn't upgradable either. So my score out of 10 is about a 9. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This is Nintag Minecraft, signing out.